All right, what's good, you Tim fam? Um, in this tutorial, you notice that I forgot to tell you guys what I am rocking on my face because this is an eyeshadow tutorial, and um, I kind of did it backwards. I did my eyeshadow first, and then um, I do my foundation in another tutorial because I wanted to talk about the products. So anyway, but um, I am wearing Max Face and Body um, Foundation in C7. Um, for my powder, I'm wearing a Mac. Um, select sheer press powder in NC um, 55 um, concealer Mac Pro Long Wear concealer in NC 45. On my cheeks, I've got Hard Candies um, Fox in a Box, the um, skinny dipping one, and I use the orange for my cheeks. Um, for lipstick, I used I don't even know where it said draw. I think it's no, it's not divine. No, it might be divine. This is sad. Ain't that a shame? Let me see. Okay. This is just tragic. Yeah, Divine. Um, cover goes Divine, which is a nice uh, bright purple color. And then on top of that, I have Hard Candies um, Lip Gloss and um, Jellyfish, which is like a purple um, gloss. It's a plumping serum, volumizing lip gloss. And it's got some um, a little bit of sparkle to it. So that's what I have on my lips. So anyways... Back to the eyeshadow tutorial. If you're interested in getting this look, just keep watching. All right, guys. What's going on, YouTube fam? All right, I'm coming to y'all with a quick eyeshadow tutorial. I'm going to be using um, Hard Candy's Lunar Eclipse eyeshadow. This is the one that I got when I was out of town. It looks like that. And that's the color I'm going to be applying um, across my lid. I'm also going to be using just a matte black. The matte black that I'm using is coming from Wet n Wild's um, Greed Palette. So right here, and then um, for highlight, I'm using Milani's Speech Sand, and then um, for like a medium color, like right in there, I'm just using my um, Mac Select Sheer Press Powder in NC55. So, anyways, um, first let me prime my eye, and for all you guys that don't um, know about primers, um, primer is something that's going to protect your eye from staining or pretty much from the the uh, makeup that you're going to be putting on it and I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Um, Elf has one for like a dollar which is absolutely great but um, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay one and so I'm just, I got makeup and all type of stuff on my fingers. So anyway, I'm just going to squeeze me out just a small amount and I'm just going to pop that on my eye. Go ahead and prime my eye and then for um, a base, I'm going to be using NYX's um, eyeshadow base in natural. And for you guys that don't know what a base is or the purpose of the base, a, a base is like a creamy substance. You can use um, something that's specifically called a base or you can use creamy eyeshadows or something like that. Um, some people even use gel liners. But a base is going to be something that has a creamy consistency and it allows eyeshadows to adhere to to it, the texture so they stick and they're more vibrant and um, you know you don't have uh, creasing and things like that and the shadow will show up true to color depending upon what base you use um, I'm gonna use a neutral base because you know the eyeshadow looks pretty much a neutral color and so I'm just gonna use um, it's like a small concealer synthetic flat shader brush um, and I'm going to start popping that on my eye I'm gonna put it all over my eye like this. And you don't need a lot of base. You don't want to overdo your base or it will it will cause your shadows to crease. And I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of um, rub it in. Just kind of pat the base in.
make sure I get the base all the way down to my lash line. Okay. Then I'm going to take, oh yeah, I forgot another color I'm going to be using is this matte color from the Vitamin palette. Um, just to kind of tone down the color of the base, I'm going to use that color first. I'm going to use my Sony Castro large crease brush. Looks like that. And I'm going to, I just don't know why I all my bad. I'm just going to kind of pop that on right in there. Okay. And then next I'm going to dip into my Milani, my Milani Beach Sand. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that on as a highlight. I'm using the same brush. I'm going right up under the brow with that. So I kind of blend it down a little bit. Make sure that both the colors even up. Alrighty, next I'm going to dip into my um, uh, MAC Sheer Select Press Powder in NC55. And I'm just going to kind of apply that um, all up and through there. And I'm just going to use Sony Cash Blending Brush because I'm going to lightly apply it. Okay. Now I'm going to pop on my lid color, which is the um, Hard Candies uh, Lunar Eclipse. And I'm going to use Sony Cashwick's small um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pop that all over my lid. I'm going to kind of flare it out a little bit. Kind of bring it up a little bit into my crease. Just kind of, almost kind of wing it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take um, my Sony Kashuk um, blending brush from the limited edition line. I'm just going to kind of lightly blend that a little bit. And then I'm going to dip into that matte black. Any matte black that you guys have, I'm just going to lightly dip into it with my small Sony Kashuk shader brush. And then start to um, deepen that um, outer V. I'm just going to build up the color. I'm just going to take a little bit at a time and then kind of draw it on at an angle and kind of just start to smudge it over. Making it darkest on the outer, on the outer part and then smudge it kind of over.
that and I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just kind of that in I'm just going to um, keep building up that color until it um, matches that eye. So I'm just going to keep building that up. And then once I do that, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I've got everything blended. I started um, taping me, lining my eye, and my window was open. And somebody was out there cussing up a storm, so I had to stop and retape. So my bad, y'all. So anyways, I'm just lining my top lash line. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of wing, but yeah, I had to uh, stop and shut my window. Because old girl was in there going ham on whoever she was going off on. All righty. So I'm not going to be adding any um, shadow to my bottom line like I usually do. I usually kind of smoke my eye out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to apply my mascara, and I'm using Maybelline's Last Stiletto Voluptuous, the red one. And I'm going to use this for my top and bottom lashes. And if you're interested in how I did my individual lashes, um, there is a tutorial on that. Um, I will be uploading that, so you can just check that out if you're interested. But um, I really like them. They're uh, pretty sturdy. They feel good. Um, and uh, they last a whole heck of a lot longer than the individual lashes. Not the individual, but the strips. And I have a hard time working with the strips. So I might be um, continuing to apply the individual lashes from here on out. Because I'm really enjoying them. And I'm going to pop some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now, I don't have any foundation or any blush or anything like that on my face. Um, I'm saving that for another tutorial. I want to do a tutorial slash review on how I use my um, MAC uh, Face and Body Foundation, which um, I really like using that foundation in the summertime because it's really light. So anyway, um, if you guys are interested in um, how I use that, just uh, click on the tutorial and the re slash review because I will be doing uh, one of those for that. So anyway, that is the end of the eye look. I um, hope you guys like. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.